Now I have a question number six from M1 October 2016 IAL. I'm going to try and be quick about it because my laptop keeps crashing for some reason. And uh, I'm going to do part by part separate videos in case I lose everything that I have done about three times in this question. Okay, so first of all, um, tells us in this question I and J are horizontal unit vectors due east and due north respectively. Okay, so I is due east like this. And J is due north like this. Okay, so that's what I one unit, one unit. Okay, unit vectors. <laughs> At 2 p.m., the position vector of P is 5i minus 3j. So there's a ship called P, its position vector is 5i minus 3j. Now, position vector always means given to a relative, you know, origin, to an origin. Okay, so let, let's say this is the origin. So the position vector of P means from that origin to P. So at 2 p.m., the ship P is at this position, 5i plus 3j. Oh, sorry, 5i minus 3j. So somewhere down here. Okay. That's where P is. Okay, something like this. We can write that as a column vector. Much easier to do with them as column vectors. So what I would do is I would say um, O to P is 5 and minus 3. The top number is for i, the bottom number is for j, horizontal vertical, horizontal vertical. Okay, and it says the position vector of p at the same time, 2 p.m., is 7i plus 5j, so 7i plus 5j, something like, it's not exactly accurate, but it's, uh, you know, a general idea. Okay, you don't even have to sketch it, to be honest, but, so this is uh, op, this is oq, this is just for you, can, so you can understand everything properly. Okay, so oq, the vector is as a column vector, which, as I said, easy to deal with, 7 for i and 5 for j. All right, it tells us to find the distance between p and q. So basically, they want to know the length of this line at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m., that's where p is. At 2 p.m., that's where q is. They want to know the distance between p and q. So you need to know the length of this line. So if we find the magnitude of the vector from p to q, we've got the answer. All right? So let's first of, all, first, of, first, of, first of all find out what P to Q is. Now P to Q, if I want to go from P to Q, I've got to go from P to O and then from O to Q. P to O plus O to Q. Okay, P to O is the same as minus O to P. Right, so it's like going, it's like saying minus OP plus OQ. So it's like saying basically OQ minus OP. Right, that will take me from P to Q, minus OP plus OQ. All right, so O to Q, as we saw, was 7, 5. And O to P, as we saw, was 5 minus 3. And that gives us a vector, 7 minus 5 is 2. And 5 minus minus 3 is 5 plus 3, which is 8. And we can see that kind of makes sense from our diagram. That's like 2, and that's 8. Okay, so we that's the vector P to Q. We need to find the magnitude of that vector. Well, that's what you're going to use Pythagoras, basically 2 squared plus 8 squared. Let's just square those, add them together, and find the square root. So it's the square root of 2 squared plus 8 squared, which is the square root of 64 plus 4, which is 68. Okay, the square root of 68 to 3SF. We should write it to 3SF. Okay, so we're going to have the square root of 68 which gives us 2 root 17, which is 8.25, 8.25 kilometers. Okay, that's part A. I want to do part A, B on the next video.